Good morning, dear listeners. Today uh, we start uh, the new podcast uh, um, on the topic of the Advaita Vedanta Wisdom Tradition of Non-Duality. Uh, this is part of my book, No Age Ontology, The Joy of Timelessness, and uh, it's a compendium of different uh, wisdom teachings uh, regarding this a state of timelessness uh, beyond time. Uh, so the Advaita Vedanta is a prominent uh, ontological school within the Hinduism. Uh, it emphasizes the non-dual nature of reality and the ultimate unity of the individual with reality itself, uh, which it calls Brahman. Uh, so in the Advaita tradition we have uh, the term moksha which is uh, liberation from suffering, rebirth, time and that this liberation in this tradition is attained through recognizing the uh, illusoriness of the phenomenal world, of the body, the mind and the notion of identity and uh, acquiring what it calls vidya, knowledge of uh, the true nature of Atman Brahman which it means self-pure reality. Uh, so this is, uh, just to go into little details, it's closely related to the Samkhya Hindu philosophical system, uh, but um, Vedanta, Advaita Vedanta tradition rejects the duality of uh, Purusha, uh, self-awareness and uh, primary substance. This is a little bit more technical. We're not going into much details here. In the book, you find you will find some more information. Uh, but to conclude, the Advaita Vedanta states that all reality and every sentient being's experience have the root in what it calls Brahman, which is unchanging. So it's timeless, unchanging. Um, and uh, one of the greatest uh, teacher of this tradition was uh, Sri Ramana Maharishi. Uh, and he stated that uh, what uh, the, what it's usually called God or Self in the Hindu tradition or Brahman as used in, in, in the Hindu traditions are synonyms for reality which is discovered by self-realizations. Uh, and just to conclude, the reality of Brahman is not to be confused with the Hindu god Brahma uh, which and which is a, a different, completely different uh, entity, uh, um, because it's a it's a it's a godlike being. Uh, but Brahman is uh, something that cannot be known as an object of mind, because uh, Brahman is uh, mind itself, but it's the timeless aspect of mind. And so the goal for the Advaita. Advaita Vedanta tradition is to realize uh, that, um, that the self-identity is a, is a false identification and uh, Brahman is uh, all that exists, which uh, leads to the conclusion that all sentient beings are ultimately, uh, ultimately Brahman. So this concludes the brief uh, introduction to the Advaita Vedanta tradition of non-duality. Uh, you can find all these information in my book, No Age Ontology. And in the next podcast, we will introduce the un- unconditioned state of Nibbana in Buddhism. Thank you for listening.